Birmingham City Council President Daryl O'Quinn telling WVTM 13 yesterday the police department is down 296 officers. It's a question we've been trying to get the police to answer for years. WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn live and local tonight outside of BPD North Precinct. You're told the department has been dealing with staffing issues for years, Aaron. Yeah, guy, Brittany, the department usually likes to keep those numbers under wraps out of concerns for public safety. But today I talked to the Fraternal Order of Police Vice President Lawrence Billups, and he tells me that retention and recruitment efforts are the reason why they are short staffed. But they're working on a plan to change that. Fraternal Order of Police Vice President Lawrence Billups says the staffing issues Birmingham police are facing aren't just a BPD problem. The shortage of the officers with, with BPD is basically the same thing that's going on around the country. The, the job is not as attractive as it used to be. Uh, the economy has changed. City Council President Darrell O'Quinn tells WVTM 13 the department is down nearly 300 officers. That comes from a report released in April. Young people have so many more opportunities to go other places that we, uh, we have to go out and compete a lot harder than we did in the past. Billups tells me the department has dealt with staffing issues over the past few years. Six years ago, it was fully staffed, but there's been some movement within the past five years. Now, in the last two and a half years, the department saw people leaving at a much faster rate. Now we're at a position where we're, we're kind of holding steady, but we, we're losing people slowly. Billups says the department sets a goal of 30 to 35 recruits in the academy. But that hasn't been happening. They had 20 people in the class, and I think they're down to 18 right now. So from what I'm understanding, they're a good crop of 18, and so they'll probably end up coming through. Once officers come through the academy, the pay and benefits can often be an issue to get people to stay. BPD used to rank number one in the metro area for officer pay, but that was until two other departments raised their pay scales in the past year. We make good money. We actually do. Uh, could we make more? Yes. We always can make more. And, and I think the making them more money, the, the, the benefit packages can be better. And with those competitive cities looking to recruit officers from BPD, Billups hopes the department will look at improving its recruitment and retention efforts. The number of people, the experience, the knowledge that we're starting to lose, uh, you can never replace that. Now, BPD plans to bring in another class of recruits in June, but until then, I'm told that the FOP will plan to present a proposal for retention and recruitment efforts to Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin and Police Chief Scott Thurman. Live in Birmingham, Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.